guys my name is Daisy welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be showing y'all my entire sneaker collection for 2021 these are all the shoes that I have copped I have invested in a lot of shoes and I plan on buying more and growing my sneaker collection and I'm also gonna be showing y'all how I style each shoe so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I have a ton of Jordans and Nikes I also have some other shoes in the mix. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and we are going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first pair of shoes that I have are the Adidas Oswego. So these are more of a chunky dad style shoe and I love these. These are so, so, so comfortable. They feel like you are literally walking on a cloud. They offer a ton of support. They kind of extend pretty far in the back. So when you're wearing these, they definitely have that chunky sneaker vibe to them. And I just really, really love these shoes. I don't have a lot of Adidas. I'm not a big Adidas girl, but I really do enjoy these shoes. And I caught these, I believe, off of sense i don't know for sure but i did purchase them for retail and these are just in their like regular white beige cream colorway they are true to size i have them in a size four and a half which i think is a six i am typically a size six and i would definitely say they run true to size here are the adidas oswego shoes styled and right now i just have them paired with a little half zip like one of those little double zip jackets and then I have on some black leggings and then the star of the show the Oswegos I try to style them with leggings any really athletic piece okay so next up we have the platform vans these are just the low top platform vans I bought these because I knew that these were pretty popular i saw a lot of girls wearing these in pictures and i just really wanted them because i love the platform i am very very short i am only 5'2 so any shoe that gives me height i i'm gonna be getting because i really like sneakers and i really like sneakers with a little bit of a platform to them so these are awesome shoes these also run very true to size i have these in a size six in women's and i bought these from the vans store i'm pretty sure you can find them in stock at a lot of places these are very easy to style you can pretty much wear them with i don't know almost anything platform vans i just have them paired with this v loan shirt and this is what it looks like on the back and this is the collab that they had with nav and it just says good intentions and i have them with some black biker shorts and then i have the shoes and these little purple socks this is just kind of <laughs> what i put together so here are the vans okay so next up i have the nike air force one shadows these are just in the plain white colorway and let me see if i can get this to so i actually have my own laces on these shoes i changed them out i have bought my own laces i bought the travis scott laces and as you can see this lace is pink and then it says cactus jack on it and then this shoe has the little cactus jack I'm trying to okay you can kind of see it there so as you can see it has the little cactus jack faces on it these are a lot more chunkier than the original nike air force one they have a little bit of a platform to them and then they also have um just this extra detailing on it just that little added detail really makes these shoes look so much more stylish on these are actually still in stock you can get these shoes and a lot of the other colorways for retail Really great shoe, super comfortable, love these. Here are the Nike Air Force shadows styled. I just have them with some Nike joggers and it has this little pink detail on it. And then just a little black crop top. This is from Fashion Nova and I just have it tucked up underneath my bra. So this is how I would style these. So I think this is a super duper cute look. Very on the go if you wanna go run some errands. Okay, so next up I have the Nike Air Force Ones. So I have white 
and I have black. So for the white pair, these are the ones that I wear to death and mine are absolutely beat you probably can't tell on camera but the laces are pretty much yellow and if you look at the detailing it's just like really dirty i love air force ones i'm sure most of us do they go with pretty much anything i style these with jeans leggings sweatpants joggers I wear them with everything. I mean, they really do go with every single outfit imaginable. Mine, totally beat. I kind of like the beat look. I enjoy having a shoe that looks like I have worn them to death. Okay, so next up, I have the Black Air Forces. And I actually painted the check on these. So, as you know, these shoes are just all black. But I painted a white check onto mine just to give it a little bit of a splash. I was planning on doing more and I was going to add orange laces and all that to these. But I ended up just leaving them like this. So I really don't wear these a whole lot. I just kind of keep them as part of my collection. Okay, so next up and one of my personal faves is the Nike Air Force Utility Highs. So these are actually a part of the Nike Air Force collections. They have these in a low and a high. I spent quite a bit of money on these. I believe I bought them off of GOAT. So this is what they look like on the side. As you can see, they have, I'm trying to like get my face out of it so it'll focus on the shoe. Um, but it has this little patch right here which just has the Nike trademark message on it. This shoe is covered in, in check. It literally has checks all over it and it has this little strap on here which you can undo and then you know you can strap it back. These are madly comfortable and they do run a size small, a half size small. So if you are familiar with the Air Forces, they, they do run about a half size small, I would say. So I have these in a size four. These are actually a grade school shoe. So I got them in a size four, which equates to a women's five and a half. They run a bit big, but I absolutely love these shoes. I mean, I highly recommend getting them. They look so, 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 so cool with so many different outfits. Definitely do not regret these. I will have these in my closet collection forever. Forever. forever for the utility highs I just have these paired with some leather leggings and then I have on this Stussy hoodie and it just has the little Stussy on the back I really like this look I think these shoes just look super duper cute with leather leggings and just a baggy hoodie or a baggy sweatshirt this is kind of how I would style the utility highs. Okay, so next up and another personal fave are the Nike Dunk SB orange label. I found these on Kicks Crew. I was just looking into Nike Dunk SBs because at the time I really wanted to grow my SB collection. So I ended up finding these and I love these. These shoes are a banger. They look so good with, um, if, you, if you wear them with shorts in the summertime, huh. They make your legs look so good. I don't know what it is about these shoes. They have the thick tongue on them. So with the Nike Dunk SBs, they either have the thick tongue, which looks like that. So that's the thick tongue and it just says Nike SB. And as you can see, it's, it's very thick. So you got a really thick tongue here. Um, it's also kind of a wide set shoe. So... I really like these shoes because, like I said earlier, I am short, so when I have a chunkier pair of shoe on, I feel like it just makes my legs look longer. So these are awesome, and they're called the orange label because they do have an orange label on them, and then they have these little, what are these things called? I don't know, but they have little orange shoelace tips. Here are the Dunk SB orange labels styled. I just had them on with some gray essential sweatpants. These are massive on me, but I really love these sweatpants. And then I just have on this Little Skims tank top. You could also put on this baggy gray jacket and that looks 
pretty cute as well so these shoes go with so much this is just kind of how I would wear them when it's cold out you can also kind of wear the sweatpants down like that okay so next up I have another pair of Nike Dunk SBs and I have them in the colorway Kentucky so these came out with the Syracuse ones so they have the Kentucky which is the blue and then the Syracuse is orange so I wanted to get both of them but I ended up only copping the Kentucky's I really really love these I don't wear them much because I do want to try and like protect them I guess um, they're just a gorgeous 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 blue color um, really really pretty shoe I really really love these so I got them back when they first released so I did get them when they were reselling for cheaper and they have since gone up really good investment shoe if you will ever have a chance to cop Nike dunks for retail i 100 percent recommend doing so these shoes have gained a lot of popularity in the last year and they are gaining popularity now so i think nike dunks are going to continue to go up in value they're low tops very very great shoe for the summertime and springtime try and show y'all an option that you could maybe wear um during the cold months maybe springtime i got these in a four they are very very small and that is a five and a half in women so that's like the the smallest i can go and they are pretty tight but i don't wear them much i am trying to preserve them and keep them as clean as possible definitely one of my grails for sure <laughs> Here I have the Nike Dunk Kentuckys styled with just a baggy pair of blue jeans, this little white crop top, and then my baggy gray sweatshirt. I also think they look really good with shorts in the summertime. I just think these shoes are a really gorgeous color. So I like this outfit, pretty cute. And yeah, this is how I would style them. Okay, so next we're going to be getting into all of my Jordans. So to start out with, I do have a pair of Jordan 1 Lows. These are the sticker collection shoe, and they have different colored Nike checks on them. So on this side, you have yellow and pink, and then on this side, you have this pretty fluorescent green color, which is not really picking up on camera. You can kind of see it back there. And then this fluorescent blue color. Shoelace tips are colored as well. So you have little color shoelace tips. I wore them, I think, last year for St. Patrick's Day. I don't even know why. I just wanted to wear these. And I did get these for retail. And I believe they retailed for $75. So they are a cheaper shoe. I say you can still get these. They might be out of stock. But if they are, you can probably find them pretty cheap. These are the only lows that I have. Have. I don't really like this tag with the jump man. It's not my preferred tongue style. I really don't even like the tongue on the mids. I do have some mids that I'm going to show y'all and I'm just not a fan of the jump man so I don't wear them a whole lot but they are still really cute and I really like the splash of the different colors. It's pretty cute and I feel like these again definitely a shoe for the summertime and also the springtime. These are the Jordan 1 Lowe's styled. I just have on the same pair of jeans and white t-shirt as the outfit with the Kentucky Dunks in them. And with these shoes, I think you can really keep it pretty simple. Um, I mean, lots of options with these shoes as well, but I love a good pair of blue jeans and white t-shirt. This is a perfect look for summertime, just going out on the go when you don't need a jacket. So the first pair of mids that I have are the shattered backboard mids. So if you don't know the backstory to the shattered backboard, um, definitely look it up. They made a pair of shoes based off that story. They have highs. I think they have like a patent high and then they also have the mids and I think they have a low as well. I think the Jordan 1 mids and the Jordan 1 highs run small. So if if you don't have a pair of those and you are trying to get some and you don't know what size you are I would go a half size up or if you're in between sizes just size up so these are in a size four I do you guys literally 
the sole is not even in there because these shoes are, are tight. So when I wear them, I literally had to take the sole out. I, I do like them though. I mean, I really like the orange. I don't wear mids a whole lot because again, I'm just not a big fan of the jump man. The number one difference between the mid and the high is the tongue and then the back. So the back is a lot lower on the mid compared to the high. I would love to get the shattered backboard in the retro high. They're just expensive, so I haven't copped them yet, but I do plan on doing that. And these are also in grade school sizes. So all of my highs and my mids, they are in grade school, which is GS. And that means grade school. If you have a tiny foot, typically you'll buy your Jordans in grade school, so love 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 okay so next pair of mids that i have are these and i i don't know what the official name is for them but they're just the white red black colorway um they have the plain white toe box again you have your jump man tongue and then you have the side which is red and the black check these were the first pair of Jordans that I ever caught. I, I'm definitely more into highs now, so I don't wear my mids a lot, but I still really like them. I like having them in my collection. And these are special, obviously, because they were the first pair of Jordans that I ever really purchased. Okay, so for these shoes, I just have them styled with a, another pair of baggy blue jeans white crop top and then a flannel pretty casual outfit i obviously love flannels <laughs> with my jordans i just think it's a really cute look yep pretty simple okay so next pair of mids that i have are the bread toe mids and these are probably my favorite mids that i have um i actually have not really worn these they're pretty clean as you can see i bought these and I don't know why I never really wore them. But yeah, they just have the red toe box, which I love. Love, love, love the red toe box. So it has the red check, the little red detailing here, and then the red Air Jordan tag. I really like the, um, the red bottoms. Super duper cute. I'm really excited to show y'all how I would wear these. And I have these in a four and a half. So I still have the little thingy in there they are four and a half so I don't have the sole out because these will probably actually <laughs> fit me so I purchased these from go and I actually got them for pretty affordable price I believe I paid right at 110 for these shoes I can't remember how much they retail for I want to say like 90 bucks so I think you can still get these shoes for pretty cheap so if you like this colorway you like the bread toe and you you don't mind the mid style totally look these shoes up and yeah I'm gonna show y'all how I would style them my bread toe mids I just have them paired with these black flare sweatpants and this is what I was talking about with how you can kind of make them look more like just regular um Jordan highs you can't see the tongue on them this is just a plain black hoodie but I would definitely try and pair something that has a graphic on it on the hoodie but I like this look um very very casual just something simple I think it really um, brings attention to the shoe I absolutely love the toe box on these shoes so I really just want to let that be the focus of the outfit okay so now we have our Jordan 1 highs so I have these in the black satin shoe I bought these for retail from Hibbit Sports they were actually on shelves for quite a while they didn't sell out and I think even now they're going for like 150 to 200 so they are a little bit cheaper i really like these they're a really gorgeous shoe so i think people's hesitations on them is that it's an all satin shoe and also they crease horribly so you can see the crease on there i would say with these shoes you can't really wear them a whole lot unless you don't care about creasing them but i really like these i like the way they look with black pants and all black outfit um, I think I'm going to show y'all them with a outfit that I wore last year. So I'm not going to actually style an outfit for y'all with these shoes. I'm going to just show y'all what I wore with them before. I mean, they're, they're cute and you can get these for pretty cheap. So if you don't have any Jordan highs and you want some, they do have the nice Nike Air tag. I love this tag. I just think it's, you know, 
I just like that style tag. Okay, so now I have the Jordan 1 highs in the crimson color. So these are the colorway crimson, and I do have the little off-white shoelaces on them, and it just kind of gives it, you know, that little extra splash. I bought these off of StockX, and I think I got them for $250, between 250 and 275 so they were a little bit more expensive but I just love the color of this and I'm actually thinking about painting this part white it completely transforms the shoe makes the shoe look a lot different um, I like the look it gives but when I got them I was like you know I think I'm gonna keep them the black and crimson color because I do like it but then now that I've had them for a while I kind of want to paint them I think it would really make the the shoe pop for these shoes I'm sticking with a pretty black outfit um, really letting the color pop and stand out I just have on these jeans from Fashion Nova this top is from Zara and then I have my oversized black zip up and this is from Walmart I will link everything down in the description they're definitely an attention grabber whenever i wear these people always look at my feet and i think it's just because the color is so different but i typically go with a black outfit whenever i wear these shoes now i have the pine green so these are the jordan highs in the pine green so they have the red tag on them and then the actual shoe is just green and black and then it has the this little patch right here is not how they usually do it and that's why this shoe was not originally popular a lot of people didn't like this patch i think since these shoes have come up they have really gone up in value and the quality of these shoes is incredible the leather oh my gosh you guys the leather is absolutely incredible so i think these shoes are going to keep going up in value a lot of people slept on these shoes i actually won these from a raffle i had to travel like an hour to a mall you can style these so many different ways these shoes go with so much so if you slept on these shoes you need to get you them in the winter time they're a really nice shoe but also in the summertime with a pair of shorts an oversized t-shirt really really cute super cute <laughs> super duper cute but yeah really like these two I like all of them okay so here are the pine greens styled I just have them paired with this little white tank top my gray essential sweatpants and then this oversized flannel I think I'm actually gonna do a video of me styling these shoes like five or ten different ways <laughs> you can do a lot with these shoes style them many different ways all right so I'm on the last pair of shoes they are the infamous mochas so these are the Jordan 1 high in the colorway mocha these were recently released I did buy these off of StockX I actually still have the StockX tag on them and the shoelaces I have never worn these I was so excited when I got these I could not bring myself to wear them I just couldn't they're just so gorgeous I mean they're a really gorgeous shoe these are going to be probably the most hyped Jordan 1 of 2020 and going into 2021. They're a very versatile shoe and I just, I'm really in love with this colorway. The final outfit, I have my Jordan 1 mochas and I really wanted to elevate these shoes and just kind of bring it to that step above. I have them paired with my black leather leggings. These are from Fashion Nova, um, the same top that I had on before, and then this little oversized blazer. I really, really love this outfit. The way celebrities style these shoes, I feel like they really elevate them and make them look a lot more formal and kind of what you can wear to an office or to a business event. But yeah, this is super duper cute. I am in love with this. Okay, guys, so that is it for my sneaker collection. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!